or alcohol. I remember yeah. trying some alcohol when I was a kid. I was just, I was appalled, mm-hmm. you know, it was just like, it tasted like just dead fish or something. I was like, oh my God, it was horrible. And, um, uh, you know, and then you just, you sort of, you sort of chase that effect, you know, like you said, and, um, and then you start getting an acquired taste for it and, you know, uh, and, and you start, start noticing like as far as horrible tasting things go, this isn't, this isn't as horrible. Therefore it's good. Like tequila, the, the, I, what I've, what I've noticed with tequila is that the mark of a good tequila is that it tastes as little like tequila as possible. So the less tequila tasting it is, the better the tequila. I was like, okay, well, just don't drink tequila then because it just tastes <laughs> bad. And, um, and, uh, you know, I, I sort of think of it as, as like Stockholm syndrome, you know, like kids at first will hate vegetables. They'll hate all these things. They try coffee and like, oh my God, it's horrible. And then eventually they just get browbeaten and abused by like, well, it's good for you. It's good for you. You have to have it. It's good for you. And eventually they're like, oh yeah, no, I like it. And it's, I think of that as like Stockholm syndrome. You just like fall in love with your abuser, you know, because you've just been told so many times, like, this is good for you. This loves you. And it's just like, you know, like, that's what like abusive, you know, husbands do when they're beating, oh, no one's going to love you like I do. And you, if you tell the cops, I'll kill you and all that sort of stuff. And, um, and then you're like, oh, no, I, I, it's okay. I actually like it when he hits me. It's like, no, you don't stop that. This isn't good for you, yeah. you know? And, uh, and it's the same with the broccoli. It's like, I like broccoli. No, you don't stop it. You know, if you remember back when you're a kid, you know, I remember back when I was a kid and, and, and broccoli is like the least offensive vegetable I've ever come across, you know? And yet I, I distinctly remember as a kid hating it and just not wanting anything to do with it. And the only way my mom could get me to eat it is if she made like cheese sauce and just like covered it in cheese. And that was the thought. I was like, well, fat's bad for them, but they, they have to have, they have to have the vegetables. And it's the only way to get them the vegetables that they have to have yes. totally opposite. It's totally opposite, you know, and, um, and that was, that was the only way I'd, I'd eat it. And I'd like take the broccoli and dip it in the sauce, like just suck the cheese sauce off of it. And then like pretend like I was taking bites of it just so I could get as much cheese as possible and eat as little broccoli as I could. But it was, no, it was terrible, terrible stuff. And so, you know, when, when you're a kid, you have, you're more in tune with your genetics and your tastes are, are more refined. We think that our tastes are refined as adults. So you get your adult taste, your adult palate. No, really what you're doing is you're, is you're beating down your senses. And so now spicy food is not just offensive. It's, uh, it's like, oh yes, I, you know, I appreciate this sort of whatever. No, it is bad for you. And kids taking it like, oh God, no, that's bad. And, and, you know, they're really getting hit with the full force of this stuff because they haven't, you know, abused themselves, uh, to such a degree that they desensitize themselves to that abuse, but, uh, it's still abuse. Like trust your child's instincts. If they say no, they don't want the food. There's a reason. Cer- certainly. Yeah, exactly. Like it's certainly with bad things, you know, if, it, if, it, if an infant isn't going to eat something, if it's just like, oh my God, no, you know, then that should tell you something. You, you should not be eating that, you know, you shouldn't be using your kid as a, as a canary in the coal mine, but you know, you should at least pay attention to that. Um, now something tasting good that there can be an outlier, like sugar is an outlier and that like carbs are, you know, mildly sweet. They're not that, you know, whatever, but you know, fructose is very sweet. And that's because we think that, you know, and, you know, plants containing fructose didn't have anything that was like so, so severely toxic to us would kill us that day. And so we could get like a quick hit of energy and we could survive. And so we recognize that as something, a safe, quick hit of energy that we could use in extremity. Um, but long-term it's causing serious harm, like metabolic syndrome and weight, weight gain. And uh, short-term it's kicking our, kicking us out of uh, ketosis is putting us into uh, a fat storing metabolism as opposed to a fat burning metabolism. It's addictive. And, um, and it uh, also changes your hunger signals and it makes you overeat. So it has short and long-term consequences, but if you're out in the wild and you're starving, sure, eat an apple, you know, that's probably the safest thing around you. Uh, but, um, you know, so that can be, that can be an outlier. So kids, you know, might maybe have something sweet, but sometimes those things are too sweet. And I know kids are being raised carnivore and they're, you know, sort of a few years old and sort of have something sweet and they're just like, oh no they don't want anything to do with it. It's just too sweet. It doesn't taste good. They're just like, no, no, thank you. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm sure they could become addicted to it. You know, I'm sure you could get, you know, there's that little Indonesian kids that they got, you know, smokes three pack of cigarettes a day, like a year and a half old. And it's like, that's appalling. You know, I'm sure those tasted disgusting at first, but now the kid's severely addicted and, and mm-hmm. is going after it. But, um, 
you know, it's uh, so anyway, if, if it's something tastes bad, then it's definitely bad for you. And if, if a kid is like, just saying, absolutely not, that's not getting near me on their first exposure to it as like an infant trying solids for the first time, you, you know, that you should, you should just stay away from it. Yes. 